Greetings from the sports days. Folk football now. Marisburg United and Cape Town Spurs will be embroiled in a do or die battle for a lucrative spot in the DSTV Premiership. They go head to head in their PSL playoff match tonight at the Harry Guada Stadium. United will be in a fight for survival, while Spurs will be desperate to join the country's elite league. The Cape Town based team, under the tutelage of a former Bafana Bafana striker, Sean Bartlett, only needs a solitary point to gain promotion, while United need to win the game to retain their place in top flight football. We are joined by football writer Robin Duke Magala to unpack who will walk away with the spoils and play with the big boys next season. A very good morning to you, Robin Duke. This is certainly a big game with big consequences for both the winner and the loser. Surely the playoffs coming down to the last game is the finish that everyone would have wanted. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not so sure if this is what I would have of Marisbeck United because uh, I mean there's no any entertainment in, in Peter Marisbeck other than the, 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 you know I mean other than Marisbeck playing at their, their, their big games at the headquarters stadium so yeah they find themselves in this in this position um because they didn't do well I mean in, in the first round of last season if you remember they won they won only two matches uh went to Matuga was in charge and then they they fired him in, in November last year and then Father David came, came in four games. He lost the first game and then he win the, the next three matches. But then after that, things, they, they couldn't able to build. And then just things went sour. So, yeah, mm. it's the biggest game of... I think it's, it's bigger than the Champions League when you look at the state because of what you are guaranteed to get when you... you including the grant money, participating uh, in all other cup competitions because now you know you're going to have the three cup competitions. So, and then you look... You also talk about gate takings. When you you, you know in in in, in Marisberg, when whenever there's party chiefs or Sanders playing there, it's always full pack. So you're talking about the money close to what 40, 40 million rent. Uh, so it's a biggest game when it comes to how expensive it is. Yeah, it's a lot at stake for both of the teams, Robin Duke. I want to stay with the focus on Maritzburg a little bit longer. They have been handed a massive lifeline by being in the playoffs. Do you think that they have done enough to retain their place in the DSTV Premiership? Or should their failure to make an impression during the regular season, season see them go down? Uh, I don't think they've, 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 they've done enough uh, for themselves because I said, even when we went to the FIFA World Cup break, they were already at the bottom. Uh, uh, because for me, I see these signs of Marisbeck, they will, they will struggle, you know, this past season. Because uh, when they fired Ernst Middorf, which was just three weeks before the season starts, so Middorf had planned absolutely everything, you know, for because he, he knew that in each of probably in each and in three days, they were going to be playing. They were playing games of consequences. And Marisbeck decided to fire him, and then they appointed uh, John Matuga, who, who really, really did struggle. Because I said in 13 games he was in charge, only won two games. And then finally, day, David came in, coming in as a firefighter. Um, as I said, at first it looked like it was working, and that the result was starting to, to, to come. But, you know, towards the end, you know, they, they lost their way. I remember the one game against Marumo Kalant where mm. they were two nil, uh, I mean, nil up, and then they considered at the end, you know, it was just shattering. Everyone was just crushed, you know, by the So, you know, they've let down themselves when it comes to in, in defense. They've not been strong. And also scoring goals. They've also not been scoring a lot of goals. So it's, I'm, I'm not surprised to see themselves where they are right now. All right, let's speak a little bit about Cape Town Spurs. You know, they did really well within the regular season and then were pipped by Bolukwani City. Surely you would say that they probably do deserve a spot in top-tier football. How would you sum up uh, Cape Town Spurs' performances? You know what? It's a very case twenty two situation for me because I've got club, I've got friends at Cape Town Spurs, and also got friends that get Marisbeck United because I'm very close to, to Sean Bartlett. I remember when he also was at uh, Golden Arrows in 2014, 2015 season. He also promoted them to the top flight football after they relegated in, in 2014. And uh, I remember also last year when I spoke to him, uh, Cape Town Spurs were playing against Richard Bay in the last game of last season for from where Richard Bay were promoted. And I asked him, I said, uh, are you going to go for it for, the, I mean, this, this season? And then he said, yeah, for sure. And then you see what they've done. I mean, the finishing second, they were unlucky against some attacks when they, when they, when, when, when they, took, they took the lead. And then Amatax the equalized the Dawson this time. And then you saw on the other end, we only won the city winning four against Kazakhstan. So he did very well himself that just for keeping that 
you know what, I'm going to do it, and we're going to we're gonna go for it. And, mm. you know, you look at what kept some space. Um, they, were, they were relegated in, in 2017, 2018. Remember the issue of Tendai Ndoro having played for three clubs, you know, that, mm. that is part of transgression of FIFA rules. So, so they were relegated then because there were points that were, were dogged to Cape Town Spurs. The club was done by Cape Town Spurs. That's because Tendai Ndoro had played some game where they won and others they draw. That PSL of decided to say, hey, those games you won, we are taking points. So they, they find themselves in the relegation. So it was, so it was a nice mm. to, to see them, you know, getting like. But so, yeah, they've got Sean Bucket right now, and he has really done very well. I mean, it's an experience. If you saw the game against Marisbeck United, they really dominated the middle field of the park. They were very, very on top. Um, that's why you, but my worry is that with them is that they've been scoring one goal. You know, the three wins that they've had, it's just one, one, one goal, one goal. And yeah. you look at Marisbeck, they beat Kassik, and then they beat Kassik also away by two. They considered one goal uh, to Cape Town. So, Look at it, the numbers right now are even when you look at the goal score because it's all four have been scored by Nesbeck, but they've considered one goal. So it's three, the goal difference is equal, of which is three. So they said like, the winner today, just Marisbeck, they know that they've got one thing in mind they have to win at all yeah. costs. Even it's one goal that for them it will be, they will be able to pick, you know, Captain Spurs for the mini league.